All right, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for February 25th through March 2nd. Greetings, I am Tiffany, and this is where we explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. But before I get started with your reading, I'm going to go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine guidance and presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Scorpio, let's go. What does Divine Spirit need you to know for this upcoming week? February 25th through March 2nd. Divine Spirit. Okay, Jumper. We're bringing it out. Scorpio, drop in the comments your favorite. Ooh, excuse me. Uh-oh. This is going to be big. I just need you to know. This, this is going to be major, Scorpio. Every time I have a card spill if you will it's a major insight and information from divine spirit and i'm okay with that because we want you to have all the information you need to move throughout this world at your highest level this is for scorpio divine spirit what does scorpio need to know do tell And let's take a look at your shadow card before we continue with the reading. Shadow card normally indicates our hopes or fears. We have the page of cups for you. This camera will not focus. All right, so we'll get back to the shadow card. Our jumper is the nine of wands. Next, we have the empress. <laughs> Then we have the Six of Cups. Big things, big things for Scorpio. Divine Spirit, thank you. First and foremost, what I'm getting for you, Scorpio, is to stay in your ground. Stand your ground. Also, with the Empress, there is an abundance, which is your birthright. And then the Six of Cups. This is pointing to some sort of relational, maybe even uh, familial ties that there has. This, this shows a path of growth, right? Something from your past will serve you well to help you reach a level of abundance and yet nobody believes you can Scorpio but you stay on your ground continue to believe in yourself keep that passion and it's coming from the past it's like it's not perfectly clear what is this divine spirit we're gonna have to get clarification an experience from your past, perhaps, Scorpio, that has given you the tools and skills to be able to use now, today, to create the abundance you so desire. You're about to birth something that no one believes you can do. You might have already been talking about it. You might already know what I'm talking about and the message that Divine Spirit is trying to deliver, Scorpio. But if you have been talking about it, stop talking about it. Stand your ground because you have the naysayers and they'll try to talk you out <clears throat> of drinking a glass of water in the desert. Stay away from the naysayers. Move in silence, Scorpio, because there is something you are about to put out into the world. Now, let's look at your shadow card. This represents your hopes or your fears. And we have the Page of Cups. 
okay? Page of Cups for Scorpio, right? So, <sighs> you might be running high on emotions right now. There's this new beginning. I feel like you have this energy, this high emotional energy, because I think you already know what this is from your past that has given you the ability and capability to go ahead and birth something new in the world, put something new out in the world. Like you are super excited with this page of cups and you're hoping that it comes to fruition. And I'm telling you, don't hope anymore. Believe it. You're already showing signs that this new beginning is super exciting and you should be. And yet you need to keep that excitement to yourself because of the naysayers. Stand your ground with whomever you already did tell, but start to move in silence. This is beautiful. All right, let's get some, let's get some clarification for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know for the week of February 25th through March 2nd? Divine Spirit, do tell. This is big. I, I mean, those cards just spilled out of my hand. So big divine spirit does not disappoint. Does not disappoint. Yeah. What else does Scorpio need to know? Divine spirit, do tell. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Big, big energy, Scorpio. Big, beautiful energy. Wow, the Empress. Normally, the Empress is pregnant. Um, and then you have the Empress again. So that's normally what you see. But this card is a little hard. You have the Empress twice. Like, what else do you want me to tell you, Scorpio? You are about to move to a different level. You are leveling up your life. Do not negate what you have learned in your past, what skills you have gained, what you might have experienced, because that is taking you to a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Okay, Scorpio, that's your song right now. The, this, this is huge it's huge i'm telling you the growth that is coming your way scorpio um that's it that's the only clarifier i need let's pull up oracle card from the shaman's dream oracle scorpio your reading has gotten me super excited i'm so excited for you scorpio let's go a single card for scorpio if you will divine spirit a single card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Scorpio. Go big, Scorpio. Go big. We're not going home. We're going big. Deep, quiet meditation and stillness. This is just taking me back to what I said. Move in silence. Stand your ground with whomever you might have already told, but tell no one else from this point forward. Move in silence. Deep, quiet meditation and stillness go within talk to yourself about the process if you must talk to someone right stop talking to other people around you move in silence this is just confirmation of moving in silence i mean and then you have 11 like it's a mastery number i mean double blessings double opportunity double potential double new beginnings just like your higher self scorpio is guiding you in this entire process you are winning keep your eyes open this week scorpio we're going to pull one more card for you from the spirit animal oracle for you scorpio what spirit animal will scorpio embody this week it has to be an eagle i don't know with this kind of reading i'm super excited for you let's see what we got a single card for Scorpio, a single oracle card for, uh, I'm sorry, a single spirit animal oracle card for Scorpio, divine spirit. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio? 
what spirit animal will they embody this week as they move on to a new level I can feel this one right here uh-huh what do we have chameleon spirit oh okay okay act as if Scorpio act as if this thing that you are creating this thing that you are birthing two empresses in your reading act as if Scorpio act as if it's already done go ahead and operate on a new level get that mindset of I'm win I'm winning I'm leveling up this is a big success for me my new endeavor my new creation I'm going to act like it's already happening and that's how I'm moving today and next day and the next day act as if right this is a change for you it's a big change do not fear change change is one thing for sure that is constant so Scorpio, I'm excited for you. I hope this message has resonated with you and you find it useful in your week ahead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss anything I have for you. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.